Cleopatra VII, born in 69 BCE, was the last active ruler of Egypt's Ptolemaic dynasty, a family of Macedonian Greek origin that ruled Egypt after the death of Alexander the Great. Unlike her predecessors, Cleopatra embraced Egyptian culture, even learning the native language and presenting herself as a reincarnation of the goddess Isis. This connection to her people, along with her intelligence and ambition, set Cleopatra apart as a ruler, determined to safeguard Egypt's independence in the face of Roman expansion. At the age of 18, Cleopatra became queen, alongside her younger brother Ptolemy XIII, who was also her husband, according to the Ptolemaic custom of sibling marriage. However, Cleopatra's ambition to rule independently led to conflict between the two. Eventually, she was exiled by her brother's advisors and fled to Syria. Cleopatra's opportunity to regain power came in 48 BCE when Julius Caesar arrived in Egypt, pursuing his Roman rival Pompey. Cleopatra famously sought Caesar's favor, allegedly smuggling herself into his quarters wrapped in a carpet. The meeting sparked both a romantic and political alliance. With Caesar's military support, Cleopatra defeated Ptolemy III's forces and was restored as queen, now co-ruling with another younger brother, Ptolemy XIV. She bore Caesar a son, Caesarian, and traveled to Rome, where her presence caused a stir in the political circles of the Republic. After Caesar's assassination in 44 BCE, Cleopatra returned to Egypt, seeking a new protector for her throne. She soon found this in Mark Antony, one of Caesar's top generals and now part of Rome's ruling triumvirate. In 41 BCE, Antony met Cleopatra in Tarsus, and their ensuing affair would dramatically shape both their lives. Cleopatra and Antony formed a powerful alliance, bolstered by their children, twins Alexander Helios and Cleopatra Selene, and a younger son, Ptolemy Philadelphus. However, this relationship incited the anger of Octavian, Caesar's heir, who saw Cleopatra as a threat to Roman interests. Octavian launched a propaganda campaign, painting Antony as being under Cleopatra's control and Egypt as a foreign menace to Roman values. The conflict culminated in the Battle of Actium in 31 BCE, where Antony and Cleopatra's naval forces were defeated by Octavian's fleet. The couple retreated to Alexandria as their fortunes collapsed. Back in Egypt, Antony, believing Cleopatra had committed suicide, attempted to take his own life. Mortally wounded, he was brought to Cleopatra, where he died in her arms. Realizing that Octavian would soon conquer Egypt, Cleopatra resolved to avoid being paraded in Rome as a captive. According to legend, she arranged her death by allowing a venomous asp to bite her, thus ending her life on her own terms. Cleopatra's death marked the end of the Ptolemaic Kingdom and Egypt's absorption into the Roman Empire. Her life, filled with political savvy, dramatic relationships and a quest for power, continues to captivate historians and audiences alike, cementing her legacy as one of history's most fascinating figures.